Hello, I am Dr. Savita Soman, Additional Professor and HOU in the Department of Psychiatry at Kasturba Hospital, Manipal. Today, I am here to talk to you about a condition related to anxiety. We all know about anxiety. All of us have suffered from it. Some of us may be more, some of us may be a little less. Certain amounts of anxiety are probably helpful in letting us perform better. However, not all anxiety is good. If anxiety goes beyond a particular level, it can be very distressing for the individual concerned as well as for his or her loved ones and would significantly affect the individual's functioning as well as performance. So there are different kinds of anxiety disorders that are described. You have generalized anxiety disorder, health anxiety, social anxiety disorder, separation anxiety disorder, phobias, etc. Today I would like to focus particularly on a topic that we often do not talk about separation anxiety disorder. However, this is very much real problem that a lot of people are suffering from. Now, what is separation anxiety disorder? Separation anxiety disorder is a clinical condition in which the individual concerned has a very intense fear or anxiety about possible separation from a loved one to whom he or she is very much attached. This can happen both in children as well as in adults. In children or adolescents, this particular attachment figure is usually the parent, a caregiver or one of the other family members. And the level of anxiety that one sees in these children is much more than what you would expect in somebody of that particular age group. In the case of adults, the attachment figure is usually the spouse, a romantic partner or children. So how do individuals with separation anxiety disorder present? What are their common symptoms that they report? So people with separation anxiety disorder have very persistent and intrusive thoughts that they would be separated from this person whom they love very much because of an untoward event. Now this could include sometimes very catastrophic events like say accidents, kidnapping, etc. Often they refuse to go to school or go to work because they do not want to leave this loved person even for a short period of time. When they are forced to do so, forced to go and carry out their occupational activities or the child is forced to go to school, they may often suffer from physical complaints like headaches, body pains, nausea, vomiting, etc. Very often they are unable to sleep unless this loved attachment figure is near them and when they do get to sleep, they have very terrifying nightmares about separation from this individual. These symptoms are persistent and not an on and off thing and it causes a lot of distress to the child or adult in question and naturally also to the loved one who is the prominent attachment figure. So, are there any options to combat this separation anxiety disorder? Are there any treatment options or any other strategies that one can do? The first step of course is to recognize that there is an actual problem and to be supportive to the child or the adult in question. The next would be to seek medical help. So you have a team of mental health specialists who can help you deal with this condition. So the psychiatrist will do a detailed evaluation and come up with a management plan. The mainstay of treatment for separation anxiety disorder is psychological therapy. However, if the anxiety symptoms are very severe, if the distress is very high, or if the functioning is very severely affected, then the doctor may also need to add medications. Along with medications and therapy, another strategy that has seemed to work in people with separation anxiety disorder is the use of support groups, where you have several people or several children who are suffering from the same problem. They get together, they meet at periodic intervals and they help each other. So though separation anxiety disorder can be a very, very distressing condition, on the positive side, there are several methods to combat this. Thank you.